Aloha. Welcome to my kitchen. To all my fellow foodies out there, mahalo. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Uh, I am not only happy to be here, but man, I am so blessed and everything uh, to have uh, the support of friends, family, and of course, foodies and everything like that. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. This forty, fifty thousand dollar kitchen would not be possible at all. Yeah. So, well, anyways, just like Disney says, man, let's get down to business. All right. So we will now go into a segment on my show that I like to call Good Kind Cooking, where I have a special guest in my kitchen and we will be cooking up an island classic favorite of mine. If you guys don't want to go anywhere, you want to watch this video because, man, it is off the hook. Maestro, if you will please take us away to the video. Welcome everybody back to my show. On this segment of my show, I like to call it Good Kind Cooking with JD. And my special guest today in the kitchen is the beautiful Miss Maria. Introduce yourself, please. My everybody. name is Maria. I am with Musician Labs, honey, and Let's Talk World. And it's a pleasure to be here in your kitchen. It's beautiful. Yes, remember, it's my kitchen. Yes. But you are doing the cooking today and I will be doing the eating. Why we didn't do this in my kitchen? Because my kitchen is bigger and nicer, as you can tell. The, the studio and network, they, they paid about forty fifty thousand 50000 for the remodeling of my kitchen. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. nice. So we are, what we are going to be doing... Oh, today? Uh, today on this segment of uh, Good Kind Cooking with Jenny, we will be making a loco moco. Have you ever had a loco moco? Of course I did. Because I heard you don't cook, so I know you never made a loco moco. But I you're gonna never learn today. made it and don't cook, as everyone knows. But today, we are going to teach Miss Maria of Let's Talk World how to cook. Are you kidding me? It may seem impossible, but bear with me. We're going to get it done. All right, so for our local moco, wait, actually, let's talk about how the local moco was started. Yes, yeah, how it started. Actually, did you know that uh, in 1949, it's either uh, the Lincoln Grill or the uh, Cafe 100 in Hilo, Hawaii? Mm -hmm. This is really simple. I did not know this. But there was a young boy named Loco who ate this dish. He was the very first one to eat this dish. And his name was Loco. So they rhymed it with moco, and it was pretty catchy. So... They Loco stuck with the name, Loco Moco. Oh, wow. That is a really good history. How exactly. did you find that out? Google. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, he actually from Hawaii. That's why he probably know that. Yeah, I'm from, I'm from all the islands and everything. But uh, Loco Moco isn't just, well, based out of Hawaii. It's all over the world. And it was oh, actually, really? wow. yeah, it was actually a dish that was uh, concocted and everything for World War II and oh. Something really fast because this dish only takes about 15 to 20 15 minutes to make. 15 minutes, girls. From scratch. We no. are doing the gravy from scratch, the hamburger patties from scratch, the rice from oh. scratch. No, we're cooking the rice from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yes, this is really good. 15 minutes. I have to go to the drive through in and out all the time. And it took, it takes me a lot, around five minutes only. Five minutes? No. In and out, it takes you about 20, 25 minutes in the drive through about five minutes to order, about 20 minutes of waiting, and yes, then... blow up my uh, undercover. <laughs> yeah, I've been to In-N-Out. I know what's up. Yes, but it's really good, too. So, see, uh, this one is 15 minutes. You can actually go to In-N-Out. It takes you about 20 to 30 minutes because they're very busy. Their food is good, too. So, now, we're going to be... He's going to be teaching me how to cook loco moco. All right, this loco moco, it, it may be loco, but it's not that crazy, actually. It's not that hard to make. It's really simple. All you're going to need is some hamburger beef. For your patties, you're going to need some butter and some flour for your roux for your gravy. You're going to need some breadcrumbs and eggs for the binding of your hamburger patties so that way they stay together when you cook them, they don't fall apart and, and crumble. And what is this? This one is cornstarch. Cornstarch is used just for thickening up the gravy a little bit. You don't really need cornstarch, that's why we're making roux with the flour. Then we have beef broth for your gravy. Yes. You know, you do great on that show for the prices, right? Or uh, as Vanna White, you know, handing stuff over, yeah. yeah. But, uh, we have our beef bouillon. That's for extra flavor in your gravy. Now, you can also add onions and mushrooms inside your gravy if you want to. But today, in, in, in my recipe, we don't do that because it's already packed with so much flavor. All right. Well, uh, what did you, uh, what did, what makes you think of making uh, loco moco? Actually, this week I wanted to feature the Loco Moco because we, uh, as you seen earlier in my first segment, we were, we featured the Fist of Fusion. And if you followed my page, Good Kind Grinds, you would see that I made a deep fried spam musubi Ooh, the other musubi. day. Yes, I did a video I recipe like, on it. I like it. musubi. You know, it's musubi, for those who don't know about it, it's about, you know, uh, I see it a lot in Hawaii. 
oh, because yes. of the spam and everything. Yes, but musu bees don't actually have to be just spam. It's not limited to that. You can also oh. use uh, chicken, pork. Mm. You can use ribs. You can use whatever you want on top of that musu bee. I've even seen them use octopus and squid Yo. on top of it and poke it. You can even do it with fried rice. You don't even need white rice. It could be fried rice. Maybe somebody might be able to do it Max salad or potato salad. I love it. I don't think you can do a mashed potato, so don't try that. But if you do, definitely hit me up. Yes, yes. This guy, we're going to learn a lot from this guy and making loco moco. Mm. And probably it's going to be our food every single week. I forgot one thing. I know you don't. she doesn't really like salt too much, or so I heard, and everything like that. Yes. But uh, we need salt and we need pepper inside the, for your patties and everything like that because you want to pack it with I think flavor. you can put some, but not too much. Yeah. I noticed you didn't have any in your kitchen. So I am going to reach into another universe and I'm going to pull out the pepper. <laughs> and then one more time from the other universe, the salt. It's 2018, we can do that now. And we can uh, enter dimensional travel and everything like that. It's so funny. <laughs> well, yes, don't forget, uh, so explain about your uh, beef. Your beef is just your ground, your ground beef. You can use uh, 85 uh, and, you know, 15 or whatever, lean, whatever you want to use. Uh, it's up to you. It's your preference. But as long as it's ground beef patty, you can also use sausage and pork, whatever, because local mocos, just like musubi, is not limited to just hamburger patties. Oh, they, they, I'm they, learning uh, a lot. Yeah, we do a katsu, like a katsu moko, mm -hmm. which is uh, the chicken katsu, on, you know, instead of the hamburger patties mm -hmm. and everything like that. You can use whatever you want, ribs wow. and everything. And that's amazing. The sky is the limit with it. Yes. So go ahead and get creative as uh, we take you on this journey. We try to teach Maria how to cook a local moko me yes but anyways yes please stay tuned because we're gonna cook loco moco we're gonna try to save her because she says she doesn't need a boyfriend so yes i didn't need a boyfriend <laughs> go on my page because you're gonna see what i said i don't need a but boyfriend. wait till she try my loco moco she just might fall in love <laughs> all right stay tuned because we are gonna get down in the kitchen we're gonna start prepping for our loco moco yay i'm gonna eat all right <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> We're so far away. Uh, hopefully you can hear me, but welcome back to my stuff. Welcome back to Good Kind Cooking with JD. They can hear you, the mic is here. Oh. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, save it for the bloopers. Okay. Alright. Lights, camera, action. action. Alright. Welcome back to Good Kind Cooking with JD and the, my beautiful guest, Miss Maria. So right now, on this part of the recipe, we will be preparing the patties for the loco moco. Loco moco. Yeah. Are you ready to get your hands dirty? Well, not dirty, but clean. <laughs> I hope they're clean. You wash your hands like you wash your ass, right? Yes. Okay, got it. That's the first rule in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first rule in my kitchen, wash your hands like you wash your ass. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Are, is this a contest? No, it's not a contest. This, uh, is, this is it. We, we, we split. So the first thing you want to do is take your ground beef and take maybe about quarter pound or two to uh, no for this thing we're gonna make about two to three servings so, so can i do now no we're gonna you're over here oh yes this one we are saving so oh, here okay. you're gonna take your ground beef and you're gonna take about a quarter pound of your ground beef you're gonna take the egg no not yet you have to bind it first so <laughs> okay you need, you need to crack the egg uh -huh. into the ground beef crack it make sure you don't get those shells in there be very gentle and i'll take that from you all right and now and now we take the breadcrumbs uh-huh you're gonna pour a little bit of maybe about a handful of breadcrumbs just to bind it. We're just that's binding it, the patty. That's it? A little bit more. Now, if you don't have breadcrumbs, you can use panko or anything. But the egg, some people just use the egg. It's sufficient enough. That's good enough. Wow, that's really uh. And then it's gonna work. Trust me. <laughs> then we take the salt. You want to salt and pepper your meat, of course. Now the salt and the pepper is up to you. Now, if you want to use like a, a tablespoon or a teaspoon, it depends on how salty and and pepper you want. I guess she likes a lot of pepper. That's why she doesn't like salt, I guess, because she's in love with the pepper. All right. So now you're going to mix it up, and you're just going to get in there, and you're going <laughs> to bind it all together. There you go. Don't forget the egg. You got to get the egg up in there. You want to bind it. You want to mush it, because we're making patties. Okay. <laughs> it feels so good to have somebody else cook for me for the first time. This is crazy. Yes, all the way. Oh, my God. That $500 manicure is done. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Some more. Wait, we we should actually wear our gloves and. Oh no, that's why if if you have gloves, feel free to use it. But you know, us uh, cooks everything like that. I just think about costs and everything. I, you know, I'm not even in the kitchen, but 
I wash my hands. Make sure that you wash your hands because sanitation is the key ingredient to all cooking. Remember that, second to none. Is this a home cooking? Yes, you are in my home, <laughs> in my kitchen, so I guess it's home cooking, right? <laughs> And um, she kills me every time. And you gotta most of you gotta you gotta. It's like you're you're massaging it, they making love to it. Oh, yeah, you gotta really get it in there. <laughs> this is crazy. Show them what you got. You know, Kevon is watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kevon. <laughs> there we go. Mush it all together. All like right, that, right, just like, like that. that. Yes, like oh. turn it into dough. You want it to be nice oh, and binding, that's it. Okay. and all together. There we go. Now cook. it's looking like a patty. Yeah. So, oh my God. There we go. I didn't know that you do it this way. Yeah, this we are making patties for you guys. But if you do not want to make it from scratch, if you do Look not think you're capable, you can buy Four. hamburger patties from the store. There you go. It's perfect. Now what you're gonna do? You're gonna take about a golf ball size, mm -hmm. or how big or however big you want your patties, and you're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Oh, roll. Yeah, you're gonna want to shape it into kind of like a meatball shape. Oh, like Get that nice little wash, roll. Did you wash your oh, hands? Oh, yes, I wash my hands. With soap. Thank you. Yeah, just like that. Oh. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flatten it out into a patty. That's it. You don't wanna flatten it too much, though. You want it to thin. There you go. That's you can add a little bit more meat to that. Don't be scared of the meat. You can add a little bit more. Oh. I know you're a little person, but you gotta eat. You need some weight on you. In fact, I'll make mine a little bit bigger too. I'm a big boy. There we go. So uh, you make it, you eat them. You're making it, I eat them. All right. So you're going to want to flatten it out, shape it up into a patty. As you can see, kind of a patty shape. Now the trick is, it's just like doing hamburgers and everything like that. You're going to take your thumb. You're going to press down in the middle a little bit. Make a little groove in the middle so you have a little thumbprint in the middle. Why? That, that, that's the... the the patty go up and it doesn't deflate, it doesn't shrink too oh. much. It's just, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a cook, I'm not a, a scientist or a physics expert. It's just something about physics, I don't know. Are we doing on the other side too? No, just one side. Oh, just one side. Yeah, so you kind of just want it one side and you want to press your thumb gently in the middle mm -hmm. just to get a nice little bowl inside. Okay. And then that's one patty. There's two. Two. Your patty, my patty. All, All right, right, so we got one more each. There you go. The rest is yours. Here, we're going to have that one. Sharing is caring in my kitchen. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, this is huge. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> we'll save that for uh, Geezy's uh, and his frenemies on Monday for Adult Swim. All right. <laughs> Try to keep my kitchen PG. Well, what's my show? <laughs> Musician Lapsani, you're gonna have fun. And this coming Tuesday, we uh. Oh no, actually, oh, send your ideas of what contest we're going to do on Musician Labs, honey. Every Tuesday. How about a cooking contest? Oh, oh I'm going <laughs> to do this cooking contest. <laughs> I enjoyed that dance off that we used to see a, a cooking contest. I know, right? He lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after you do that, don't forget your thumbprint. Yeah. Just a slight little groove. You don't want to smash it all the way down. You just want a small little groove. That's going to help your patty stay. Uh, inflated thumb, and right? big. Thumb. Yes. Rule of thumb. There you go. Yes. So cute. Yes. Oh, there we go. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, patties. you have your patties for your local moco. And that is the first step into making this uh, JD's local moco. All right, so stay tuned. We are going to get our hands washed and cleaned, and we are going to head to the stove. Whichever way is the stove. I still don't know my kitchen. It's a pretty big kitchen. Usually, I'm, I'm used to small kitchens that way. Okay. <laughs> But uh, we will get back to you and we will be doing the gravy and frying up these local mocha patties. Yay! All right. Yay! I got my hands dirty. All right. See you in All a right. bit. See you in a bit.